Hello, I can have it in this kitchen, guys. Who can tell me what we have in this plate? Don't even start thinking it's tomato paste. Don't even start thinking it's not. But today we are making a wagon combo. And this is the wagon sauce that we are making first. Let's go through the process and please, you need to have patience. This video is about seven minutes plus long and it's for a reason. I want you to watch it to the end. And this is just the beginning of making a wagon sauce. I have to, of course, prep my red bell pepper to get it ready. And what do I mean by prep them? I mean I have to, as much as possible, to dehydrate them to get them ready. And I have my dehydrator that I'm going to use or I have used for that already. Outside this also, you either use the hydrator or you can as well use your oval to do that. And this is also my another pepper that I have to also dehydrate, which I've added to the tray. And this is the end product of my dehydrating. Don't worry guys, I will maybe make another video of how I manage to dehydrate this pepper like this and of course the red ball pepper. But of course making a wagon sauce will start with blending this red ball pepper that I've dehydrated. If you notice, it's a little bit burnt and that was deliberate. And also right now what I'm doing is to remove the, the, the stem of the other pepper, spicy pepper, and now I'm adding coarse pepper, a dry pepper, now adding some water to blend it to get ready for making the ewa going sauce. And for those who don't know, Ewa is, Ewa is beans is called Ewa in Yoruba. So what I'm just making now is the beans sauce. Now I've finished blending it and this is the outcome of that pepper and combination that I blended, including of course ginger, which I'm sure you guys saw when I added it. Now I'm blending my onion. Guys, to make Ewa going sauce, there are two things that are really important you have to get right the combination of pepper and of course how you chop your onion onions needs to be chopped well and blended to get the juice out because the juice is necessary for the flavor you are looking for in the wagon sauce as you guys can see this was well blended so these two things you're looking at guys really make up of what we use to make are going sauce so let's continue also and let's get to know how did we manage to pull the pull it through meanwhile like i said i was making a wagon combo i'm cutting my yam getting it ready it's going to be boiling on one side definitely at the same time also i have my pressure cook pressure cooker ready where i've also added my uh, loin uh, is the sweet kind of beans that i'm already cooking of course i'm back to my stove now making starting to make my wagon sauce first you guys notice the oil i used i used bleached oil already there in this part of the world we buy bleached oil otherwise i can as well use my red oil and bleach it myself the first to go into that bleached oil is the onion guys the onion we are using to fry this has to really really release its flavor in the oil gradually don't fry it to burn, but gradually, gradually, it will get to that point you want before you add crayfish, which is not supposed to burn at all. Add crayfish and for less than a minute, add your blended peppers inside. Remember in this paper, I blended ginger, I blended red bell pepper, and I blended attache. You know, you, you guys can see all that even previously. Now I'm giving it a quick stir. It seems to me that this requires more oil. But right now I'm adding, oh yeah, I've added my seasoning and I've added more oil. So what I'm gonna do for the next few minutes, I mean, of course I, has to, I had to shorten this video. What I did for the next few minutes was keep staring and keep staring. And for the few minutes I didn't stare it, I think I went to my laptop. You guys can see it started to, it started to burn. So I had to scoop, I had to scoop out the burnt side while I continue to stir my wagon sauce. Guys, the best way, the best way to get this right is to keep stirring. Don't leave your sauce on fire and be chisting. It will burn and 
there's a thin line between getting their work on your source right and of course letting it go on. So we have to be mindful of exactly how we stare and we keep testing it. Of course, even feeling the texture. By the time you feel the texture, you will know if you're done cooking, making the sauce. And if you also notice from the beginning of when I was cooking or frying this, notice how the color changed from almost like pure red to something that is a bit brownish or darkish. That is because it, it takes a long time to keep frying on a low heat. Don't use, don't use high heat. Just in a low heat, keep frying it. And it doesn't require much. Just keep frying on, on a, keep frying on a low heat. And before you know it, and keep testing, before you know it, you're done. And back to my beans now. The pressure cook has done a job, or the pressure cooker has done a job. So I'm gonna use my pot to finish the cooking and mash it as I'm supposed to for a while going. If you look also on that stove, the yam is done already in that small pot. I'm sure you guys can see that. Now I'm almost done mashing my mashing my uloi, uh, the ewa or the beans, whatever I like call it. You notice it's a bit watery here, but the beauty thing about ewa going is the more it's once it begins to cool down, it gets stronger. The texture begins to get stronger. So don't worry about it when you make it and it looks as if it's watery. Now I'm dishing it like you would normally do it in Lagos those days. You, when you call a wagon people, they sell, uh, you buy a, a wa, buy a shoe that is yam, and then add some, uh, let, let them add the sauce for you. This is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful meal for those of us that grew up in Lagos. We don't miss this every morning. If you live around Shomolu area, I didn't live in VI, so I will have to be, I have to be honest. I lived I lived between Shomolu and a salad, and this was common breakfast for all of us that live there. So believe me, I know what I'm saying when I say this. Now, do you prefer that combination of yam, ewa, and of course agony sauce? Or do you prefer a, a, a going like this, ewa going sauce, and of course with ewa? and bread that bread that looks like really agege bread those kind of bread that you hold on food and it will not rise again so i'm getting ready to enjoy my while going and bread made in azendu's kitchen which i will dilute with a bottle of soda guys i love you guys bye